So I'm going to show you guys how this works. If you're on your regular radio screen here, you do have to be on the aux input source. So first thing I'm going to do is switch this over to the aux input. So now I'm on the aux. That is referring to the input in the glove box, which we have a wire routed to. And now to switch the screen over, I am going to press and hold the phone button right here and that switches my input on the screen. So now I'm on CarPlay and I could access any of the apps in my phone right from here. You've got all your standard CarPlay features. And then the reverse camera, that is activated automatically when I put the car in reverse. There's the reverse camera and the front camera is activated as soon as I shift into drive and that will stay on that screen for 10 seconds before going away on its own. And you could also force activate that, that uh, camera while you're driving by pressing and holding that phone button. So if I wanted to activate it on the fly, I could just press and hold the phone button to activate it. And then likewise, press and hold the phone button if I wanna exit and get back to the factory stereo screen which will come up with that phone log, but you can just press the escape button to get out of that. So that is how we have added Apple CarPlay to this 2015 Maserati Gran Turismo Sport Convertible, along with a front camera and reverse camera. I am gonna to try to make a phone call real quick just to make sure everything sounds good. Hey Vicki, I'm just testing out the Bluetooth. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. And there is a wired microphone, but it is pretty discreet right up here. Now the only downside I'll say about this type of kit, we only have one input in this car to work with. So unlike a factory system, you have different volume adjustments for your telephone call and another one for your music. You notice that the music came on quite quite a bit louder than the telephone call and I lowered it real quickly. That's because I don't have an independent volume control between my telephone calls, my text messages, my GPS and my music because everything's going through that one input in the car and uh, that's the only downside. But the great thing about this is you can take a car that's, you know, a, a solid vehicle and that you enjoy driving that just maybe has a little bit dated technology and you can bring it up to date and enjoy it for many more years to come. So if you're interested in a product like this for your vehicle, please look up our shop, soundsincrediblemobile.com or visit my blog, carstereotic.com for more details. If you enjoyed this video, please help us out by hitting that like button and consider subscribing. If you enjoy watching videos like this, we post them weekly. Thanks so much, guys. You have a great day. See you next time.